little squirrel was really cute. But Grandpa said he's probably chewing up blankets in the attic. The squirrel seems pretty harmless, but really he's a menace to blankets everywhere. Hi and welcome to Keys for Kids. My name is Zach. Squirrels might seem cute and cuddly, but if they chew through the roof and get into your attic, they can cause a lot of damage. Sin is like that, too. It may seem harmless at first, but once you start doing it, it can be real trouble. 1 Timothy 6, 11 says, But you belong to God, so you should stay away from all those things. Always try to do what is right, to be devoted to God, and to have faith, love, patience, and gentleness. And now our story is called The Sneaky Squirrel. Oh, no! The squirrel is back! exclaimed Grandpa. I thought we had seen the last of him. Why don't you like that little squirrel, Grandpa? asked Cooper. Yeah, Grandpa, said Emily. I think he's cute, all black and fluffy, and look how he can jump. Exactly, said Grandpa. They all peered out the window and watched the small animal leap from tree to tree. Then it ran along a cable wire like a tightrope walker until it was out of sight. Do you know where that little squirrel is now? asked Grandpa. Maybe he's playing on your roof, said Cooper. Grandpa frowned. As we speak, that little bushy-tailed squirrel is probably gnawing his way through roof tiles and insulation and getting ready to make himself at home in our attic. He's been there before and ruined blankets and clothes Grandma kept up there. Trust me, he isn't cute. How can something that looks so harmless be so destructive? asked Emily. Destructive is a good word for it, said Grandpa. My Bible class teacher said Satan is like that, said Cooper. She said Satan can tempt us with things that look harmless, but since they go against how Jesus wants us to live, they're destructive, just like that black squirrel. Your teacher is right, said Grandpa. Do you remember how tricky Satan was when he lied to Eve in the Garden of Eden? Emily nodded. I remember... Satan made Eve think it was okay to eat from the tree God had told her and Adam not to eat from. Yes, said Grandpa. We can't always tell if a thing is good or bad by the way it looks, but we can always look to what God says in the Bible to determine if something is right or wrong. Satan is sneaky, but because we know Jesus, we have his Holy Spirit in us. That means we can protect ourselves against Satan's tricks and lies by seeking God's truth in the Bible and praying for clear understanding. God promises to give us wisdom through his word and help us know right from wrong. Grandpa strolled to the door. Now let's see what we can do to discourage that sneaky squirrel from moving into our attic. Well, how about you? Do you ever have trouble knowing if something is right or wrong? Sometimes it's hard to tell, especially if other kids tell you it's okay. That's why it's important to go to God for guidance. See what the Bible says about it, and if you're not sure, talk about it with an older Christian. And don't forget to pray and ask God for wisdom so you won't be tricked by Satan's lies. Our key verse for today is Romans 14, 23. Whatever is not from faith is sin. And our key thought for the day... Beware of Satan's lies. This December, I want to invite you to celebrate Advent with my podcast, Countdown to Christmas with Zach. I'll have a story for you every day and then talk about it with kids your age. It's a great way to stay connected to Jesus through the busy holiday and to discover more about why Jesus came to earth. So ask your mom or dad to search for Countdown to Christmas with Zach on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. I'm Zach with Keys for Kids.